You're welcome to Logos of Flame Daily Devotional Podcast. Be blessed as you listen. October 5th. Today's topic is Remember God's Past Wonders. Today we look at this heartfelt psalm of Asa in our reading. It is a heartfelt cry of pain and dissolution. The psalmist wonders whether God has forsaken his people and why. It is no mystery that life is a mixture of ups and downs, valleys and hills. When we experience the high times, it is easier to serve God in joy and laughter. It is easy to remember how good and loving He is. On the contrary, when we experience the opposites, we tend to forget God's graciousness. We scream and wail and wonder what terrible sin we have committed to warrant such evil. We think God is angry with us and punishing us for some unknown sin. Psalm 77 starts on such a note. I cry out to God. Yes, I shout. Oh, that God will listen to me. When I was in deep trouble, I searched for the Lord. All night long, I prayed with hands lifted towards heaven, but my soul was not comforted. Psalm 77, 1 to 2, New Living Translation. However, after his painful ruminations, the psalmist retraces his thoughts and remembers God's love and past mighty deeds. In these, he draws hope and strength for his waning faith. He writes, But then I recall all that you have done, O Lord. I remember your wonderful deeds of long ago. They are constantly in my thoughts. By your strong arm, you have redeemed your people, the descendants of Jacob and Joseph. Verses 11, 12, 15. What lows are you experiencing in your lives? Could it be a loss of faith, guilt, or shame? Paul's epistle to the Colossians reminds us of God's enduring love and sacrifice for us. We need not stay stuck in our past mistakes. If we must remember the past, then it should be the times when God has shown us mercy and grace and how he has redeemed us from the shackles of sin. Now he has brought you into his own presence and you are holy and blameless as you stand before him without a single fault. Colossians 1.21 Paul admonishes believers to always remind themselves of this truth. When we find ourselves in depths of despair, pain of grief and otherwise, these are truths we must remember. God will always show up for us as he has done since ages past. If he could redeem the Israelites as unfaithful as Jeremiah describes, how much more will he show up for us, beneficiaries of the new covenant who have been ransomed and redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus? Practical Reflections 1. In what situation in my life did it seem as if God had ignored me? How did God turn the situation around eventually? 2. What past miracles of God do I need to remember to boost my faith? Our Bible reading is from Jeremiah 4.19 through 6.15, Colossians 1.18 through 2.7, Psalm 77, 1 to 20, Proverbs 24, 23 to 25. Our memory verse is from Psalm 77, 11, using the New Living Translation. But then I recall all you have done, O Lord. I remember your wonderful deeds of long ago. We would love to hear from you. Please send your messages and prayer requests to our email, office at logosofflameministries.org or visit our Facebook page, Logos of Flame Ministries, and drop a message. God bless.